Hello everybody, this is City Scrapper. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. Today I have a layout chair for you. Today's layout chair is of all of the layouts that I made for Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches Series 7. I have 31 layouts. I have one for each day and then I made two layouts for day six and all of these layouts have process videos on my channel. So I'm gonna get started in right away, sharing a little bit about each of the layouts. So this was the first layout. This was made using My Mind's Eye, Comfort and Joy. And that collection was used for almost everything on the page. The only things that I added in were the these little Prima flowers. And I added in some of these jewels in the shape of stars and some pearls in the background and everything else was as I said from the collection I used the pattern papers some chipboard some ephemera and also some brads and this is a photo or these are photos of my daughters on Christmas Eve in 2016 This layout for day two was also made using the My Mind's Eye Comfort and Joy collection. And again, I used some Prima flowers and I mainly used the collection. I also used some thickers and uh, I used again some of those self-adhesive pearls. And I also added in some little uh, snowflakes that were not from the collection. And these are also Christmas photos and this was from 2015. This layout was made for the day three sketch. This was made using the Pink Fresh Studios Boys Fort collection. I use some mixed media and stamping in the background. I love when I add stamping to my backgrounds. I don't know why I don't do it more often but I had a lot of fun making the background. And then I just layered some strips from the Boys Ford collection. And I added some of the embellishments, a tag. And this was a pretty quick, simple layout. This is of my daughter and one of her friends. This layout was made for day four. And this was made using the Little Yellow Bicycle Splash collection. This is a very old collection that I have in my kit. And I love the hexagons. I use some stickers from Michaels and a couple of other little things that I had in my stash. These were really old letters from Heidi Swap. And I'm again using those pearls. I seem to get a lot of use out of those pearls. And those are photos from Cape Cod from several years ago, 2015. This layout was made using the Simple Stories Country Christmas Collection, and this is pretty much exclusively papers and embellishments from that collection, with a couple of exceptions. I did use some of these thickers, and I used these two little ornaments that I added little pearls to, and along with the thickers came these gold accents and I use them under the photo and I also mix them into the poinsettias. This was actually a snowflake or most of them were snowflakes and I just cut them apart to make them look like little branches. And this was of my daughter trimming the tree. This layout was made for day six. This was the first layout I made for the sketch from day six and this was just using a lot of different gold, black, and cream colored papers and embellishments that were in my kit, they were in my kit, that were in my stash. Uh, I used this piece of bling that I've had in there for a while. And then these flowers are from the One Canoe Two collection. I had them left over from another project. And then just a whole bunch of bits of uh, chipboard and just little leftovers from other projects. And these, this is of course, New Year's Eve, 2015. I'm trying to get some of my older photos scrapbooked. This was the second layout that I made for day six. 
This was using the Pink Paisley Spring Jubilee collection. I did some mixed media in the background and I did a lot of fussy cutting of images that were on the pattern papers because I didn't have any embellishments. I added in a, I should, I should say I didn't have any matching embellishments. I have uh, quite a few embellishments handy. I also added in a uh, doily and some puffy stickers. And this was a photo of my younger daughter when we were in a uh, conservatory. This layout was made for day seven. And this was using a number of die cut with a view pads. I used one called Treasures, one called City Maps, and one called the Downtown Loft. And I also used some chipboard clouds that I had in my stash and some stickers that were kind of New York City themed. And these were fussy cut out from the papers, as was this. And this was a picture that my daughter took one time when she was in the city. This layout was made using the um, Bow Bunny Key Lime collection, uh, an oldie but one that I really love. And this was a really simple layout. I just cut out the triangles the way they had them in the sketch. And I added in some phrase stickers, a few embellishments that were in my summer stash. And then I added these iridescent dots all around, plus a couple of chipboard seagulls. This layout was made using the day nine sketch. For this layout, I used the Vicki Booten Kaleidoscope Collection. And in the background, I used a lot of mixed media. I used some sprays and I used some texture paste, a stencil, some stamps. And I did a lot of fussy cutting of the pattern papers to make the embellishments. And I did that for this camera, the butterflies and all of these hearts and all these various embellishments. These were all fussy cut out from the pattern papers. And I just added a few little things. I added some jewels to the butterflies. I added this piece of epoxy to the camera lens. And I also added this little rainbow strip on the top and the bottom. This was for day 10. This was using the My Mind's Eye Splendor collection. And I hadn't used this collection before. I really ended up really liking it. I did some mixed media in the background. I did just some splatters, not no modeling paste, just kind of some light mixed media for me. And I love the way the sketch had these two big, almost like arrows. And I added in some of the chipboard and I have a little bow here and all of this the chipboard and the brads, all of these things and the pattern papers were from that collection. And this is a picture of my, my two daughters sitting on our front steps. This layout was made for day 11. This was made using the Maggie Holmes confetti collection. I love this collection for birthday layouts. I did a lot of mixed media in the background. I used some sprays and I used some modeling paste and I did some stamping. I added, other than uh, this one rosette, I added all things that were from the collection. So this just happened to be on my desk. I had just purchased it, but then everything else was uh, from that collection, including the pattern papers. This was for day 12. This is using an old collection called the K and Company Winter Wonderland collection. And I just love these papers. I think they're so beautiful. And I combined them with a lot of ephemera that I had in my stash. I see there's some Prima in here, some K and Company. I just added a lot of things, whatever I had that I thought looked good. And I initially had a pattern paper background and then I decided to use the white background. Sometimes I struggle with that. When I'm making the layout, I don't like the pattern papers in the background, but then sometimes when I look back on them, when I make the switch and I'm watching the video, I think that the pattern paper looked good too. But I'm happy with this, there's a lot going on, so I feel like the white background worked out well for this. This is uh, the day 13 layout. This layout was made again using that 
Pink Paisley Spring Jubilee collection, and I just love the colors of this collection. I don't have any of the embellishments, as I mentioned. So for this layout, I did a lot of layering of paper. I added in some some paper flowers that coordinated with the colors in the collection. And I did a lot of mixed media. A, a decent amount of it is showing, but the, I did a lot of mixed media on this background. And the cluster, I feel like, was good because it covered up a lot of it, but there might have been a little bit too much. So I feel like just the right amount is showing now. I also added in some florals that were die cut from some white paper. This layout was for day 14, and this layout was made using some items in my stash that I've had for, oh my goodness, at least 10 years. It, they were made from a company called Creative Imaginations, and the majority of the background here is the mixed media. I use sprays, I use some glitter paste on the background, uh, some of these little jewels, and then I use the stickers and the chipboard that were from that Creative Imaginations collection, Brad's as well. And the title is from that too. And I also added in this little wood anchor that was in my stash. This layout was made for day 15. This was made using the Prima Santorini collection. And I had a lot of fun with the stencils and the modeling paste on this one. I think I used the Vicky Booten iridescent glaze on this one. Oh, I'm missing a pearl. I better add a pearl back in. <laughs> I love the grid layout. And whenever I have a grid layout, I tend to do a layout that does not have mixed media. So I kind of challenge myself to make this into a mixed media layout. And I was happy the way the colors and the sprays went along with the, uh, the collection. And I think it's such a beautiful color palette and I think it just goes so nicely with a beach theme layout. This layout was made for day 16 and this was using the die cuts with a view playful pets collection. This is another one where I wasn't sure if I wanted a white background but I ended up using a white background and I didn't have any embellishments that went with the papers. I don't even know if they make embellishments that go with the, these paper pads, but uh, so I just added a couple of little things that I had that were in my stash. I added some hearts and um, there really aren't a lot of embellishments, but the banners on this page serve as embellishments. And these are, this is Jackson and this is Coco. This layout was made for day 17. This was made using the Photo Play Rhapsody collection. And this was kind of a simple layout. And what sometimes happens to, happens to me is that even the most simple layouts take me so long. And it's funny, sometimes I'll make a very complicated mixed media layout and it'll take me a while. And then I'll think, oh, let me just make a simple layout. And then that takes me just as long. And I can't really say why. Um, so I used the photo play collection it came with some stickers so i used some of the stickers i used a banner die that i had in my stash and uh, these were also from the sticker sheet i made the banners as as they had in the sketch some photo corners which i love to add and like i said it should have been a quick layout don't know why it took me so long but it could be a quick layout This layout was made for day 18. This wasn't using any collection in particular. I used a lot of things that were in my scrap bin and these were some Memento wood stickers. I just used some uh, inks to color those to match the background. I did some stitching in the background. This was a Tim Holtz title. I just did a little mix and match of all different things that were in my stash, but I knew I wanted to use this color palette. So. I chose things that I thought would go along with it. And I really like this sketch. This layout was made for day 19. This was the Dear Lizzie She's Magic collection that I use. And I did some mixed media on the backgrounds and I just love these flowers. I just, absolutely love them. Uh, I love fussy cutting them out and I love using them on layouts. So I feel like these flowers 
were really the star of the layout. And with the mixed media and the pattern paper, I really didn't need too much more. This layout was made using the day 20 sketch. And for this layout, I, again, did not use any patterned paper collection. I just kind of used a combination of colors that I knew I wanted to use and got some scraps and just pieced a lot of things together, including the embellishments. I used this title. This was a finisher's prize from one of the load challenges. If you're not familiar with load, uh, it stands for layout a day and it's run by Scrap Happy. I have to move that little um, enamel dot over. Uh, and I use some mixed media on the background, some sprays, some of the iridescent glaze. And I use a lot of little embellishments that I got at a Michael's $1 sticker sale that they had a couple months ago. This layout was for day 21, and I made this using the Pink Fresh Studios Everyday Musings collection, and I just used that collection. When I'm spending a couple of days or I don't worry about how long I'm going to take to make a layout, I sometimes will pull things from different collections, but when I'm making a layout for a challenge that I have a little bit of a time constraint on, I'll usually try to pick a collection that I have either embellishments for or that I know that I can make embellishments by fussy cutting things out. So this particular collection, I have a decent number of embellishments for. So I really enjoyed working with these spring colors and I thought they went well with the photos. And I'm looking at the layout and I think every single thing other than the background paper, the background paper is a Webster's Pages uh, piece of pattern paper, but everything else was from that Everyday Musings collection. And these were just some little raccoons that were little baby raccoons that were across the street from me. And I know some people are probably like, why would you take pictures of raccoons? But I've never seen a raccoon in my area. I've seen them, you know, in zoos and um, on TV, but I never actually saw one uh, in my neighborhood. So that was, that was exciting to me. This layout was made using the day 22 sketch. For this layout, I used the Echo Park Fun in the Sun collection. I used the pattern papers, well, just a little bit of the pattern papers as photo corners. And I also use a lot of the chipboard on the background. And just in case you're looking for the collection, the chipboard was labeled Cartabella. I know that they're owned by the same company, but again, just in case you're looking for it, the, they were both called Fun in the Sun but one was labeled Echo Park and one was labeled Cartabella. And I layered all of that on top of this background, which I had a lot of fun making. In order to make this background, I use this aspirator. This is from Michaels and it's made by Ranger. And that's used to disperse the color. And uh, yeah, it was definitely fun to, <laughs> to do that. I enjoyed it. I had some splatters and I also added some enamel dots to the chipboard into the photo corners and I put these little teeny tiny jewels in the background just to give the wave uh, a little bit of emphasis. And this is a photo of my two daughters in Cape Cod several years ago. This layout is from day 23 and this layout was made using the Paige Evans Whimsical collection. It's a collection I have in my stash and I was really excited to finally get to use it. I used that aspirator again on the background to spread out some of the watercolor sprays. And then I used this gold leaf ribbon and I made a circle. And then I attached a lot of the ephemera and other embellishments to that kind of wreath that was made by the circle. And I used a lot of the die cuts that were in the collection. I also used some pearls and some bows and these little plastic flowers. And this is a photo of my two daughters. I love this photo. This layout was made using the day 24 sketch and this was using papers from the Webster's Pages Sweet Season collection. And for this layout, I again use that same 
gold leaf ribbon that I used in the last layout. I made a circle out of it. And for this layout, I layered up a lot of the pattern papers along with some chipboard frames. I used some Prima and Petaloo flowers and I did a little bit of mixed media in the background. This is embossing. And this is a photo of my two daughters and they are taking a selfie on Christmas Eve. This layout was made for day 25 and it was made using a old K and Company collection called Handmade. And I saw the sketch and something about the sketch reminded me of this collection. So I pulled out this collection and I thought it was a good match for the sketch because it required you to have flowers below this photo and then on top of this photo. And I liked the combination of the photos and the colors of the pattern papers and the flowers as well. So I thought it was a good combo. Um, I really like these old K and Company papers and collections. I love new collections too. I buy way too many of them as I know many of us do, uh, but I don't look at it as I have to use my new stuff right away. I wait till I have pictures that I feel kind of fit the way that the collection looks and the subject and the colors. And I pick my papers based on that. And if a collection is 10 or more years old, uh, that's okay with me. So I made this uh, using almost exclusively that collection. I added in some pink Fresh Studio puffy uh, letter stickers and that was about it. This layout was made for day 26 and this was using another really old collection. It's uh, made using the Prima Just Karina Dude collection and Someone had pointed out how the collection doesn't really look like so matchy matchy and I know what they are, they mean the pattern papers don't necessarily coordinate the way they do in other collections. I really love this paper though and something about this paper is very inspiring to me. I don't know what it is, the combination of colors, the patterns. In any case, I thought they that this collection was a great fit for this topic and as soon as I saw these photos, I thought of this collection. And these are photos of my daughter meeting uh, a tattoo artist named Ryan Ashley. She met her at um, a Warped Tour concert. It's one of those outdoor concerts with multiple venues. Uh, so I thought that this was a good match for this topic. I used some Pink Fresh Studio letters. These are some white puffy stickers. And these are feather stickers from that Michael's $1 sale. And there's also some uh, puffy stickers in the background. These are Freckled Fawn and there are also some Bella Boulevard epoxy stickers in the background. And I really, I love this sketch. I thought this was a great sketch. I think it's very unusual and I really enjoyed making this one. I enjoy making all of them, but that was a real, I was very really challenged by that sketch. This layout was made for day 27. The background paper is a piece of Melissa Francis paper. And I use a lot of different things for the circles. I pulled out some six by six inch pads. I had a Bow Bunny Yuletide collection pad and a Paper Studio Rustic Noel pad. And I pulled out some simple stories, a one simple stories piece of paper too. And there were circles on that page. So I punched out the circles. I used some stickers. I, these are some K and Company stickers. Uh, there's some Prima flowers. I used some pine branches that were already cut out in my that were in my stash. I just use a, a mixture of a whole bunch of different things on this layout. And this is of my daughter and her boyfriend. They were uh, working at an event, and uh, I thought this was a super cute picture. This layout was made for day twenty eight. This layout was made using the K and Company collection called Handmade. Now I had made another layout using a collection called the same thing. And when I was going through the collection, all the papers that I had and all the embellishments, I realized that clearly there were two different color schemes and it was really two different collections. So I separated them and I used 
one color scheme for a layout that I'd already shown you, and now for this layout, I'm using the other color scheme, which I also really liked. And I thought it was a good match for this photo because it's a very serene photo. And I only used the pattern papers on this. I didn't use any mixed media. I, I also used some of the embellishments, uh, actually a lot of the embellishments. I used a piece of ephemera. I used chipboard letters. And it was really nice. Any of the chipboard letters were chipboard butterflies and flowers and this little bird cage and this butterfly. I also used some of these little stickers that have the jewels in the middle. I liked those. And in order to separate the leaves from the background, I used a white jelly roll pen and I just outlined some of these leaves. And I didn't mention the last photo was from a museum called the Cloisters, which is not too far from my house. And this is another set of photos that is from that same day. This is the day 29 layout. And this was made using another K and company collection called the engraved garden. And for this layout, I again used the pattern papers and the embellishments from the collection. I added in some pearls. Some of these are adhesive pearls. These are, just some accent pearls uh, that have a flat back. And I added in some florals that I had die cuts of. And uh, like I said, everything else is from the collection. And this is the last layout. This was made for day 30. For day 30, I used, and I hope I'm not butchering it, the Stamperia, Stamperia, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I use that brand and they have a beautiful collection called Pink Christmas. And I feel like you cannot go wrong using this collection. The colors are so beautiful. I understand people who like the traditional Christmas colors. I like those too, but I also really, really love these new pastel uh collections that are coming out. So I call this one Mary. This was with a uh, title that was in my stash and everything else other than the little snowflakes, the pearls, and the little die cut florals. This is all from that collection. And there's no mixed media on this background, uh, which is, I feel, feel like it's unusual for me, but I feel like the background already looked mixed media. And I didn't think there was anything that I would add to it to make it look better than this background looks. And this was day 30's layout, as I said. So this is the last layout in the series. I hope you like this video and I hope if you liked it, you'll give it a thumbs up. This is my first time participating with Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. This is series seven. Series eight is coming up, I believe in June. And it's really fun. The sketches are really fun to work with. And I hope that you'll consider playing along next time. There's a Facebook group that you can join that has all of the inspiration that you could possibly want for each of the sketches. And they also have a file in which you could find the sketches way back to series one, from series one to series seven. And I think it's worth checking out. I'll put the name of that in the description box. I hope that everybody has a fantastic day and I hope to see you again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.